The Bhava manuscript is a collection of seven fragmentary Buddhist hybrid Sanskrit treatises found buried in a Buddhist memorial stupa near Kucha, northwestern China. Written in early Gupta script on birch bark, it is variously dated in 5th to early 6th century. The Bhava manuscript includes the oldest dated fragments of an Indian medical text, the Navnitka. The seven treatises included in the collection three on Ayurvedic medicine, two on divination by dice, and two on incantations, dharni, against snake bites. The collection had at least four scribes, of which three were likely Buddhists because the second, the sixth and the seventh treatises open by invoking the Buddha and other Buddhist deities. To invoke Shiva, Vishnu, Devi, and other Hindu deities. The discovery of the manuscript in remote China near Central Asian region is considered evidence of the spread and sharing of ideas in ancient times between India, China and Central Asia. It also contains excerpts of the Bhela Sanhita, a medical text whose damaged manuscript is in Tanjavur, Tamil Nadu. The medical fragments of the Bhava manuscript have much in common with other ancient Sanskrit medical treatises such as those by Karaka, Ravigupta, Vagbhata and Kashapa. The manuscript is named after Hamilton Bhava, a British lieutenant, who bought the manuscript in March, 1890 while on a mission to chase an assassin charged with hacking Andrew Dalglesh to death. The fragmentary manuscript was analysed, edited, translated and published by Calcutta-based Rudolf Hoernel. The Bhava manuscript is preserved in the collections of the Bodleian Library in Oxford. The text consists of seven separate and different treatises, of which first three are on medicine, next two on divination, and last two on magical incantations. The three medicinal treatises contain content that is also found in the ancient Indian text called the Karaka Sanhita. Treatises I to three are the medical treatises of the collection and contain 1,323 verses and some prose. The metrical writing suggests that the scribe of the three medical treatises was well versed in Sanskrit composition. The scribe of divination and incantation sections, treatises for seven, was not conversant with classical Sanskrit, made grammatical errors and used a few Prakrit words. The manuscript is mostly in the shloka verse style, a Vedic poetic meter. The Bhava manuscript is written in the Gupta script, a type of late Brahmi script. Part I has five leaves, and the incomplete treatise ends abruptly. It is a fragment of a treatise on garlic, its medicinal properties and recipes, its use for eye diseases. It opens with a flowery description of the Himalayas, where a group of rishis reside, interested in the names and properties of medicinal plants. It mentions Hindu sages such as Treya, Hrata, Parara, Bhela, Garga, Mabavya, Susrita, Vasistha. Karla, and KPY. Susrita, whose curiosity is aroused by a particular plant, approaches Muni Kirja, enquiring about the nature of this plant. Kirja, granting his request, tells him about the origin of the plant, which proves to be garlic, Sanskrit lasuna, its properties and uses. The section on garlic consists of 43 verses in poetic meter. This section also mentions the ancient Indian tradition of garlic festival, as well as a mention of sage Sushruta in Benaris, Varanasi. This is the part where the initial 43 verses are in 18 different, uncommon meters, Sanskrit prosody, such as the Vasanta Thilaka, Trishtub and Arya, while the verses thereafter are in the Shloka style. The verses credit the knowledge to past sages. Verse 9, for example, attributes the knowledge to Susrita, who received it from the sage king of Kashi. Part 2 abruptly ends on the 33rd folio of the Bhava manuscript. It is voluminous, relative to the other six treatises, and contains medical prescription sections on powder, medicated ghee which is called butter too, all elixirs, aphrodisiacs, decoctions, dyes and ointments. It opens with a salutation addressed to the Tathgatas, contains, as stated by the scribe, the Navantaka text, a standard manual, Siddha Sankarsa. Then it states its intention to provide 16 chapters of prescriptions, 
but the surviving fragment only provides 14, ending abruptly. According to G.J. Muhlenbild, an important peculiarity of the Bava MS consists of its varying attitude towards the number of the Doas, humors. In many instances, it accepts the traditional number of three, VTA, Pitta, and Kapha, but in a smaller number of passages it also appears to accept blood, Rakt, as a dosa. Part 3 consists of four leaves and also ends abruptly on the obverse side of the folio. Part 4 starts on reverse. It starts with the symbol Om as usual with the other treatises, and is a short treatise on 14 prescription formulary in a manner similar to part 2. It consists of 72 shlokas. It is a fragment whose contents correspond to chapters 1 to 3 of the part 2. Parts 4 and we contain two short manuals of Paka Keval, or Cubomancy, i.e., the art of foretelling a person's future by means of the cast of dice, a ritualistic practice found in Tibetan manuscripts. Part 4 is almost complete, while the manual constituting part V is markedly more fragmentary and defective. The dice is stated to be a group of three die, each with four faces, tetrahedron, numbered 1, 2, 3 and 4. When cast, it would yield one of 64 possible casts, of which 60 combinations are listed in part 4. The missing fourth may be scribal error or lost, but those four are mentioned in later verses. Hoernal mentioned that part V is similar to other Sanskrit manuscripts discovered in Gujarat, and like it, these parts of the Bhava manuscript may be one of the several recensions of a more ancient common source on divinatory work. These are traditionally attributed to the ancient sage Galga, but may be an influence of the Greek oracle tradition during the post-Alexander the Great period. Parts 6 and 7 contain two different portions of the same text, the Mahamyur, Vidyajna, a Buddhist Dhanjana incantations text. The Mayuri text, in later centuries, became a part of the Pacharaksha magical incantations group, one of the highly popular dharni sets in Buddhist communities in and outside India. Part 6 of the Bhava manuscript contains charms against cobra bite, while part 7 is for protecting against other evils befalling a person. Both these parts are a small select portion of the actual Mayuri text and tiny compared to the much larger dharni compilations. Part 6 is complete written on better quality birch and is the most well-preserved treatise in the Bhava manuscript. According to Watnab, the verses of these treatises as found in folio 49-54 to of the Bhava manuscript completely correspond to those found in Mahamuravidyarajni verses of the Chinese Tripitka, in particular to the 705 CE translation by Ising, the 746-771 CE translation by Amogvajra and a 516 CE translation by Sangpala. Their shared source may be Pali verses in the Mora Jathaka, with interpolations by Mahayana Buddhists of that era. These parts of the Bhava manuscript also contain the name Yashomitra, likely the votary or the influential person for whom the manuscript was prepared. According to Hoernal, Yashomitra may well have been a Buddhist monk of great repute, the one for whom the stupa was built, and in whose memory the manuscript was prepared and buried in the stupa mound. The discovery of the Bhava manuscript, its antiquity, and its decipherment by Hoernal triggered enormous excitement in the 1890 estates Vujastik. Famous explorers were commissioned by some of the world's major powers of the era, such as Britain, Germany, Japan, France, Russia, to go on a Central Asia and Xinjiang expedition. They were to seek manuscripts and other ancient treasures. These expeditions yielded major discoveries such as the Dunhuang manuscripts, as well as famous forgeries such as those of Islam Aku in the decades that followed. The European Union-funded international Dunhuang project has continued the legacy of the Bava manuscript which in part inspired Rudolf Hornell to seek funds from the then Government of India to finance the first 1900-1901 expedition of Mark Orlstein. Please like and subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.